Let's ultrasound. On today's edition of Ultrasound Physics Review, let's talk scattering. So let's start out by defining ultrasound scattering. When a sound wave hits a boundary with irregularities and the sound wave is redirected in multiple directions, either uniformly or non-uniformly, this is known as scattering. There's two things that cause a boundary to be irregular. The texture of the surface, meaning is it rough versus smooth, and the size of the surface. Is it small versus large? And there's two types of ultrasound scattering. Organized scattering, also known as Rayleigh scattering, and disorganized scattering, also known as backscatter. Rayleigh scattering or organized scattering occurs when a sound wave hits a surface that's much smaller than its wavelength, such as a red blood cell. The sound is uniformly scattered or redirected in all directions. This is also known as omnidirectional. And this this is a very organized type of scattering. Rayleigh scattering produces a very weak reflection. The reflected waves travel in multiple directions, resulting in little reflection returning back to the transducer. Rayleigh scattering is directly related to frequency, and it's proportional to frequency to the fourth power. If frequency doubles, Rayleigh scattering increases by a factor of 16. Higher frequency sound undergoes more Rayleigh scattering. A red blood cell is a common Rayleigh Rayleigh scatterer. Rayleigh scattering is not angle dependent. It can occur with either perpendicular or oblique incidence. And just for review, perpendicular incidence is when a sound wave approaches a boundary at exactly 90 degrees, and oblique incidence is when a sound wave approaches a boundary at any angle other than 90 degrees. The second type of ultrasound scattering is known as backscatter, and this is a disorganized type of scattering, and this is due to a rough or irregular surface. The sound is scattered in a disorganized manner, reflecting in multiple directions, non-uniformly. Backscatter is also directly related to frequency. Backscatter or disorganized scattering is also known as diffuse reflection. Backscatter is directly related to frequency. As frequency increases, Increases, backscatter increases. And backscatter is responsible for the texture or grainy appearance, the speckle of tissue on an ultrasound image. And this gives tissue its textured look. Most of the tissues in the body are rough and result in backscatter. Note that this is a weak type of reflection because little sound returns to the transducer because the reflections are scattered in multiple directions. Backscatter is not angle dependent and can occur with either perpendicular or or oblique incidents. 